for you. I want to get them to the rightful owner. Oh, not a lot of gardening, though, for people this last couple of days. No, it has been dreary, and we have had just a soaking rain. In fact, a month's worth of rain in just three days across the majority of the valley, and we can still hear it coming yeah. down right now right. here at the WGAL studios. But relief is in sight. We still have that flood watch in effect through the night tonight. That's in effect until tomorrow morning, but there's the pitter patter of the rain. Once again, this is the last hurrah. We have widespread rain moving from south to north, but you can see the back edge of that slowly working its way to the north and to the east. That trend will continue, but if you are traveling for the next couple of hours, especially in York County and Lancaster County into Lebanon County, this steady rain will stay with us till roughly about about two o'clock in the morning. Then finally see that back over the panhandle of Maryland into West Virginia. Drier air will start wrapping around on the back side of this storm, but we do have the back side of the storm that's going to work its way into the valley and stay with us through our Thursday and into Friday. So mostly cloudy. The steady rain will taper to some showers and will end overnight tonight. Could see some patchy fog, but because of that flood watch and those swollen creeks and streams and rivers, it's still an impact night and it's also going to be an impact early tomorrow morning. But we should start our Thursday off dry. It's once we head back into the afternoon that upper level lows moves into the region and will help spawn some scattered showers. May see a nice isolated thunderstorm. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s, but they will be scattered in nature, not widespread periods of rain like we have seen since the start of this work week. So here's a breakdown of the rain chances really start to drop off after 2 a.m. Should be a dry start to your morning and then spotty showers as we go through the afternoon and evening hours and then tapering off late tomorrow night. But we'll do this all again on Friday. But let's look at some of these rainfall reports during the past 72 hours. Much of the valley has picked up more than three inches of rain, close to three and a half inches of rain in Lancaster, just over three inches of rain at Harrisburg International. But there were heavier reports. Columbia, Lancaster County, more than four and a half inches of rain in Jonestown, 3.63 inches of rain in Lebanon County. That's leading to a number of flood warnings. The Conna de Gwinnett under a flood warning that's cresting tomorrow, but the flood warning is in effect for the Conna de Gwinnett through Cumberland County until Saturday morning. Sherman's Creek, that's now actually has expired. You can see the warning there no longer in effect. We do have the flood warning in effect for the Juniata River near Lewistown in Mifflin County to Juniata County. That's cresting overnight. That warning is in effect until Thursday afternoon. The Swatera Creek throughout its length in Lebanon County and into Dauphin County. That's under a warning near Harper Tavern. That's cresting late tonight. The warning there is in effect until Thursday evening farther downstream stream towards Hershey. That warning is in effect until Thursday afternoon and the creek as you head down towards Middletown. That's expected to crest Friday, but likely going to remain above flood stage. So that flood warning for the southern portion of the creek still in effect until further notice. Now let's talk about the larger river Juniata at Newport. It's cresting and it's starting to drop at Newport. It's farther upstream where we're dealing with the flooding still. Now for the, uh, the Susquehanna at Harrisburg, now it's expected to remain below flood stage at Harrisburg, but for Marietta, it's expected to rise and remain above flood stage through the day Friday. Outside right now, 43 degrees, winds are calm, and we're still dealing with that rain out there made it to 47 for our high today and for the date we picked up just over an inch and a third of rain 43 right now in Lebanon 43 in York you can see that cooler air off to our west and there goes the showers here on the predictor notice as we go through the night that rain starts to lift off to the north and to the east but the back end of that storm that's what starts to move in tomorrow and we'll have some scattered showers while the sun is up and at least we'll get some peaks of sunshine at times this type of weather will be around on into Friday. May even see some flakes trying to mix in with that rain. Saturday, isolated showers are possible. Then temperatures warm up as the weather slowly calms down. It's still going to be breezy out there, but dry for your Sunday into Monday. Temperatures will be closer to 70 degrees by Tuesday of next week.